Yo, what is Uncle Amber? Today we're back with some more LC Snake Draft narration action. I got some problems IRL right now. Not gonna get into that any further, but uh, I'm kind of happy today. So we're gonna be here with some extra snake action. So we see Jake rocking that nice slow poke. Uh, it's kind of an underused mon right there, but it's very, very fast. It can slurp up like almost everything. And we see Teal bringing some nice offense, like it's like some full-on offense. Um, what I immediately noticed is Teal's team is very weird because it doesn't have rocks on it. Uh, it doesn't have spikes, rocks, doesn't have any form of hazards, which is kind of whack. I don't really like that a lot at all. I think the, um, I think the starter has to be a Violet to be able to deal with shit like Onyx, to be able to deal with shit like, just shit like Mudbray, Onyx, grounds and shit. You need to be able to slurp up some hits, like, otherwise he doesn't really have the best witness to those. Like, I guess if he has a Violet, Mianfu, those can switch in, but, uh, Mianfu isn't the best Mudbray answer at all. Now he has uh, Abra looking at his like offense style that has to be Sash to be able to just like be a backup check to like everything. The Ghastly is probably going to be the Z move user unless it's some wild like Z move Rufflet. Uh, the Rufflet should be the Scarfer here. Um, Cause like I mean on this offense team like that you would expect a Scarfer. If it's not if it's like some boosting item on Rufflet like Life Orb or a Z move or some shit, I think the Scarfer is going to be either Mianfu or Ghastly. So enough about that team. Onto Jake's team. He has a bit of a more fat team. I don't know if he has like he could be like full on fat. He could be Scarf. I think there's a Scarf definitely hidden in there somewhere. I think it should be Scarf Snipe. He could also definitely be a Violet though. Um, but he already has one fat grass. Uh, obviously Mudray um, and Onyx and other grounds and shit still hit a fair seed for neutral damage. Like what I'm just trying to say is it's not the best ground resist. Um, but he still has a slow poke for that shit. So I think it should be Scarf Snipe to at least have some form of speed control. Or else, I guess he could also be weak armor, berry juice, big volibee. I mean, if he, he if he wants to go full fat, it's like a it's like a berry juice thirty on this, a violet, a violet, a violet, a violet, a violet, just like a violet roost on volibee, and just like mono fat. I guess Jay could go that route as well. In the team builder, he's definitely gonna have his rocks on the first. He might even have spikes on there. Um, if he doesn't have spikes, I think he could definitely be defog volibee if he is thirty juice magma to help out to help it. Um, Keep just 30 intact. Obviously, you do have Endure, so it, there's like it's not necessary to have Defog on this at all. So I just dive right into this game. Slowpoke looks amazing versus Teal's team. Like Teal does not have the best switch ins to it. Like Stardew is a Slowpoke answer. Um, if it's not Natural Cure, it's definitely gonna hate the T wave. So Jake sees that weakness as well. Leads off with Slowpoke as the Rufflet comes out from Teal. Now this Rufflet's gonna do a shit on the Jake's Slowpoke. I think Jake should just fire off a T wave. It hits this Rufflet. It hits the Stardew. And if the Ruffle has like a Z move, it can pop the Slowpoke in one. Jake could scout and go Magnemite, but it's kind of an unplay because there is a Trapinch on Teal's side. Teal could just um, Teal could just U-turn. Obviously, Trapinch doesn't trap Magnemite if it's 30 juice. Uh, it doesn't trap it 100% of the time. Teal needs to make some plays to outplay the Magnemite. So I don't know what Jake will do. I guess just staying in is a fine play because Slowpoke has that good of a matchup. We can just throw off a fat free T-Wave as a Brave Bird comes. Oh, that, oh, that's bad of the shit. Oh, oh, what is this? That is 10 bazillion IQ. What the fuck? Why? What is this? Dude, banned Ruffle. I've never seen this in my life. What is this, dude? This poor Slowpoke just got nuked to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, that has to be banned. Like, we didn't see Life Orb, and there's no way, like, something like Sharp B could be able to one shot that. There is no actual way. Like, uh, I think Scarf does, like, 60 or to 70 or something. Like, that's just a head calc. I'm not too sure. But, um, that's, like, banned Ruffle as shit. So I guess Jay can just go to Magnemite here. But,. That is that is a huge like unman. <laughs> That's that is something else. So now, I guess he can. Um, uh, let's see. I guess he can go Mianfu here to pivot uh, to see if it's analytic. Because if it's not analytic, he can just go into Mianfu, I guess. Uh, otherwise, he could also go hard into the pinch. But if it's thirty juice, as he tries to go for the braver to get some chip off, and just dies. So. I mean, that would have done some nice chip, but it wouldn't have done, like, it's a quad resist, so he goes in the hard into the pinch and gets, uh, gets crit on, but like I already said, if this is 30 juice, which it does, which it is, so, if this is 30 juice, there's, uh, like, this is not gonna always trap, so basically, Jake's just gonna be spamming recycle here, and Teal needs to hit the giga drain on the recycle, or hit faint on the recycle, or whatever, he needs to hit a move that does just a little bit of chip, does, like, 10% or something, on the recycle, and then he needs to outplay the endure as well, and this trip is a bit low because of that crit. Uh, the crit really sucks for Teal, so because of that, uh, Doc's hovering over the PP. This is uh, sort of a PP stall war. Teal can outplay this, though, and Jay can predict. It's just like a sucker war, only instead of just getting one play right with the sucker war, uh, as in, like, someone spamming sucker and the other player setting up. Teal needs to get two plays right. He needs to hit Giga Drain into another Giga Drain or Giga Drain into a faint. You get the, you get the picture. He needs to just hit him twice, waste the recycle. I guess, yeah, yeah, he needs to waste both the recycle and the endure. I mean, he needs to chip him, and then I'll play the endure as well. So I don't know if I explained that too well, but 
Um, it's the only thing to outplay, so he should start hitting Giga Drain or Faint somewhere around these parts. Because, um, yeah, Jake obviously saying that crit mattered, which it did. That's some hyper hacks right there, that crit. Uh, Magnemite could have easily eaten that up without the crit, obviously. Yeah, Teal is a good sport about it, saying it happens. Yeah, all right, all right. So, um, this Magnemite is a fat boy. Like, it just, like, this is why Sturdy Juice is so good, because it can actually 1v1 Trapinch. It can, it can easily 1v1 Diglett. So, this is what I love about this set. It can just 1v1 Trappers, and Trappers are busted as hell in this tier. So, EQ comes out again, Teal not going for the Giga Drain or Faint just yet. Finally, the Giga Drain does come out from Teal. So now we'll see who wins this Endure. And, ooh, Jake gets it right and gets the Endure on the, um, predicts that, and predicts that EQ gets that Endure right. So that's pretty nice. Even if Teal outplayed that and went for another Giga Drain there, Jake could have still gotten the 50% Endure chance because Endure is just, like, Protect. If I recall correctly, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Endure is just, like, Protect, right? Like, if you use Endure, you have a 50% chance that the Endure will work. So, Jake still had a 50% chance for it to work as the Flash Cannon comes out there. So, let's see what Teal does. Ooh, Jake truly is the Kingpin. What the fuck? Damn, that was fire. All right. So, <laughs> this trap is going down. That was that was some heat. That was a nice Heater Man play, predicting that Giga Drain right there, just going for that hard Flash Cannon. If he went for that EQ, um, he could have gotten killed by a Feint if the, um, if the Trap Inch packed that on Teal's team. So, now Mianfu is going to come in, and Jake does not have switch-ins for this. That's just what I'm going to say. It does not have switch-ins. Like, Jake's uh, fighting with this was Slowpoke, and that boy's dead. So he can go to Vullaby, but Vullaby obviously eats one, but it doesn't eat it with the defense drop from Weak Armor. If it is uh, if it is Weak Armor. If it's a Violite, I don't think it eats. Like, this is Head Calyx, but I don't think it eats two High Jump Kicks. I don't think it eats HJK into another one. So it can't even come in on that. If it's, like, Scarf, like, uh, some, like, Scarf Vullaby, I guess he can go to that. If it's Scarf Snivy, he can go to that as well. I don't know if Scarf Snivy 100% eats a hit, though. I can't calc that. Um... If this is like some boosting Mianfu, <laughs> like some wild shit, um, Snivy's definitely going to topple over if it's Scarf. So we'll see what Jake wants to do. He could also just sack something, but it doesn't really have anything to sack. I guess he could I guess he could still go Snivy. I think Snivy, I mean, if it's Scarf, Snivy puts in so much work. But if it's a Violet, it doesn't do too much. But like I already said at the start, I think this is Scarf on Jake's team. It would make the most sense to me, at least. So we'll see what Jake wants to do. He doesn't have a good switch into this at all. He could go Mianfu and try to trade knockoffs, but he's not going to He's not gonna be... Yeah, he's not going to be getting out of that too great. I know Mianfu is not that great on Jake's team because, like, I mean, I, I was going to say it topples over to everything, but it can still eat a hit from Ghastly and, Ghastly and Staryu. So, Mianfu can definitely still put in some amount of work. If it's Fake Out, it can even pop um, pop Abra Sash or kill the Abra if it's at 1%, provided the Abra does not pack Protect. So, Teal we see is lagging out a bit as Jake might be calcing or something. He does decide to go out into Snivy as that... Ooh, all right, that AJK comes out, and that is some fat chip. So I think that's Scarf, right? It's either Scarf or Mianfu has, like, some boosting item, like Reckless, maybe? I was going to say boosting item, but it could also be Reckless, uh, which would be really wild because, like, the Rufflet wasn't Scarf, and I think the Ghastly has a Z-move, so it would kind of make sense for this to be Scarf, Reckless, Mianfu, right? So if it's a Scarf, Reckless, this Snivy's going to get toppled over, but if it's a Speed Tie, and this is Scarf... No, I've, no, no, never mind. If It can't be a Speed Tie if it's Scarf, Reckless, because Scarf, Reckless, there's no way that doesn't just fucking obliterate Scarf, Snivy, so... If this is Reckless Mianfu, that 100% is um, a Violite Snivy, and that's just going to get popped right now. And this Mianfu actually has a great matchup. This Scarf Mianfu has a great matchup versus Jake's team as when the Slowpo got removed. So, he was in a huge spot with his Mianfu right now, if it is Scarf Reckless like I think it is. So, yeah, Jake's just going to lose a Snivy here, unless it is not Scarf Mianfu, and it's instead Scarf Snivy, which could also, that could also work. Like, there's two scenarios here. I'm not too sure. I think the Scarf Reckless Mianfu would make the most sense. As a high jump kick comes out, basically confirming that this is Scarf Reckless. So that's really cool. Like, I, I like the synergy between the two. <laughs> like, uh, Banded Ruffle plus Scarf Reckless Mianfu, two, like, extremely heavy hitters. Plus, like, a tra pinch for some trapping. Like, I think Teal's team is really cool. I just hate that it doesn't have rocks. I think, like, he, did, he couldn't really fit rocks anywhere, but I, I still love the look of Teal's team. It's, like, just some straight fucking offense. Like, how you even, like... There's, like, no time for either player to even set up rocks when this Hoffman just comes raining down on, upon you. So, Jake goes into his own Mianfu, which can probably eat one hit if it is a Violet. But I don't know if it's, like, bulky a Violet. It can definitely eat one hit. It can <laughs> that up. But I don't know if it can even one-shot this Mianfu back. Because even though it's Scarf, even though it probably doesn't have any grain of, like, HP or defense investment, Mianfu is not, um, it's not a frail fucker. Like, it can slurp up this hit. So, we see H. Jake. Holy fuck, dude. What is this 90%? All right. So I think, um, was that like, maybe Scarf Mianfu on Jake's side? I think, I, I don't know, Scarf Mianfu dies in one. It could also be a Violet Mianfu with just a lot of, um, just a lot of attack investment. So it has less bulk, so it took 90. Like, it's either like a Violet and that was just a high roll, I guess. Because Jake did KO back, so 
Uh, there's definitely, like, it, it can be no, in, no attack, uh, me and Fu on Jake's side, so. Pretty interesting. I don't know what set that is. It might be Scarf, but I think Scarf just dies in one, so. If it is Scarf, it's going to be able to pop this Abra right now. If it isn't, Abra can just go for a Hidden Power, super effective on the steals if he has that. Otherwise, he just fires off, like, maybe a Dazzling Gleam. If you don't have a Hidden Power, super effective on the steals, I don't know if I agree with this play, because... You, like you're just gonna get walled out by by the steals in the back right there. Even you're just gonna get flattened by Magnemite even. But a lot of Abras have been carrying the hidden power fire and fighting. So um, that's definitely a thing. These boys have been carrying the hidden powers just because of all these steals. So if it has the hidden power, it just goes to that. Definitely kills the Manfu. Uh, if the if Vullaby wants to come on in, I guess it could. I think Jake's play, like if it's a Violet Vullaby, I think he goes Vullaby here, or he just sacks Mianfu. Um, both could work, I guess. Um, because, like, if he goes Vullaby, right, he could eat one hidden power, provided Teal goes for that, then eat a Dazzling Gleam uh, and break the Sash that I assume the Abra has. So, hidden power does come out. Now, the Vullaby comes out. Now, Vullaby dies. If it, if this is a Violet, it dies in two. If this is weak armor, it's going to be able to 1v1 this. So, uh, I guess it is. Like, he doesn't have a Scarf first, so I would assume this to be weak armor to at least have some form of speed control, right? Because, like, I mean, it could also be Mono Fat. So, D Gleam comes out. That is a Violet of shit. And that's, that's not just a Violet, that's not a Violet low roll, so... If Teal gets fucked over by another low roll here, that's gonna be a fat L. I mean, this is just a uh, Calyx that I know, like, off the top of my head from playing a lot of LC. It could also be that this Vullaby just has some more Spadef investment that I'm wrong. Um, cause then, ooh... If, like, if I get my head Calyx right, that is just two min rolls, but it could be that this Vullaby has a lot of Spadef investment, and that that roll was, like, like, fine, but from what I know, that's, like, <laughs> like just, like, surviving two of those hits is, like, a 90%, like, a 10% chance to survive two D-Gleams from Abra, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure about that, um, that's just some head calyx right here, don't quote me on that, obviously, if I make some new mistakes, I forgot to say this in the beginning, it's been a fat minute since I narrated an LC tour game, if I made some new mistakes, feel free to comment that down below, I, um, I'm fine with constructive criticism, I'm just completely fine with that shit. Um, just say it. If I if I notice myself making some new mistakes, if I rewatch this video, then I'll post that in the comments down below as well. I'll make Doc pin it. So we see this ghastly. If this is HP fire ghastly, because it did go for hidden power. I'm actually not sure if hidden power fire drops a ghastly speed. Uh, I'm actually not too sure. I know it drops a speed on some other mods like Snivy, but I'm not sure if it drops ghastly speed as well. I think it doesn't because I've seen some hidden power fire ghastlies. But I guess uh, 17 speed is fine as well. But um, yeah, if this is Hidden Power, it's going to be able to body bag the first seed. If it's Hidden Power Fighting, it's going to be able to do a nice chunk as well. Uh, I assume this to be a Z-Move Ghastly, so that's... The Z-Move Ghastly, Z Ghastly is what I'm trying to say. It's just going to go in, because it can easily eat a knockout from Ferris Seed. The Seed is just going to have to, like, T-Wave it, I guess. Uh, but I don't think Jake can win this at all, if this is Z-Move Ghastly, because it's just going to be able to eat up any attack from Ferris Seed. I guess Jake could Parahax through with T-Wave Ferris Seed. Assuming this is not HP Fire, even if it is HP Fire, if it is a Violet, um, Fair Seed, he can still eat a hit, uh, Jake, that is, with his Fair Seed. So, we'll have to see, um, yeah, we'll have to see. So, Shrug is Shrug saying, I was thinking Scarf, Snivy, Trap, Mag, which makes sense as well, like, yeah, that would make sense on the team. Just to remove Fungus, although you do have Fair Seed to switch into Fungus and just get up Hazards on Fungus, so you don't need, um, what, what am I saying? <laughs> Magnemite to remove Fungus, what am I saying? I mean, um, Magnemite to remove Fair Seed, right? And you have uh, your own fair seed to deal with fungus. That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. But instead, it is a Violet Snivy plus uh, plus like Bear Juice Sturdy Magnemite plus like a Violet Vullaby as well. This is like Mono. The f this is just like the Fat Boys. So I guess it's kind of interesting. I don't like the No Scarfer. Assuming this is No Scarfer, like I don't really see what like was the Scarfer. Like I don't know if Mianfu was the Scarfer. I'm not too sure, because I think if it, if it was Scarf, it would have just toppled over in one. There's no way Mianfu eats, like, Reckless, right? So, um, yeah, there's no way it eats Reckless, because Teal's, um, Teal's Mianfu died in one as well. Again, if I make some new mistakes here, <laughs> um, feel free to comment down below. So, uh, if just, just call me a retard or whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Just don't leave a dislike on the video. Just, uh, just don't hurt dog like that. Don't hurt my dad dog. So, first he does come out. Jake makes some calcs, or he just DC'd. I assume he calc'd. But, um... Yeah, Bowman's saying this LC game is intense, which I kind of agree with, but I think this Ghastly should just be able to win. Hidden power to it kills anyway, even if it is. Like, if it's Berry Juice, it's going to topple over and 1 to HP Fire. I think that always kills. Not too sure about that, though. If it's HP Fighting or if it's a Violite, uh, it's still going to be able to topple over in 2. So, it is a Violite as... Ooh, 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 what? No, ooh, no. I, th I saw that knock do way too much, and I'm like, what item is this? As it is Choice Scarf, which... 
Um, I personally heavily disagree with Choice Scarf right there. I mean, I guess I know it's like kind of cool, but I don't know if I agree with double Choice Scarf right there. I think a Z move could have been a lot better on this team. Uh, I guess he doesn't really necessarily need it, but the hidden power is going to topple over Magnemite. I think that I think that might have been a high roll, but it didn't matter. He has Staryu in the back as well. Uh, with high roll, I mean the Ghastly on top of the Magnemite. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. It's been a while since I've been back. Um, yeah, I'm, I just have some. I have, have like 10 million Snake games in the back. I'm obviously not going to be doing all of them. I think Snake is going to go into its um, its like third stage. How do you how do you call that? It's going to go into uh, to its other stage soon. Not too sure about that. Not too sure on the Smogon tour like like when Snake transforms into its uh, other stage. But uh, then the games are going to be more high stakes, more intense. I guess these people are going to be bringing more Fungus. Yes, yet yeah, more Regen mods. Yes, that's what I love to see. So <sighs> hope you guys are. Um, Kind of hyped for that, I guess. So, yeah, leave a like, enjoy your day, and stay slurping.